What is good YouTube, what's you here with another video on Spider-Man. I might as well call myself War Spider-Man at the moment. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to check out warstew.com. Lots of cool stuff happening over there. And also subscribe to the channel because if we ever hit 100,000 subscribers, which let's be honest guys, it's not looking likely currently, and we'll be giving away a PS4 Pro with Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition on Xbox One X with the Gears of War 5. What you gotta do, subscribe to the channel and let me know down below. So, another day, another alleged report. But guys, this isn't even a new report. I, I read this months ago. I'm pretty sure I read something like this months ago. Now, I'm here to debunk it. Like, it's not realistic, guys. Disney is not going to buy Spider-Man for 10 billion. Which may sound like a lot of money, but it's not because with that money... You literally get 900 plus other characters, the Sinister Stick, Craven the Hunter, Venom, Carnage. So it wouldn't just be for Spider-Man. And spoiler warning, guys, Disney doesn't have much money. What? War Stew, it's one of the biggest companies. Endgame hit 2 billion. Infinity War hit 2 billion. Aladdin, Lion King, they all hit over a billion. Yes, guys, but, but you're, not, you're not seeing the big picture here. You are not seeing the big picture here. You know, there's revenue, there's marketing budgets, there's turnover, there's acting costs. You know, there's a lot of costs. So Disney haven't actually made much money recently because they just acquired Fox for 100 billion. Now I know you're going to say 70 billion, no, but you got legal fees and VAT and everything else on top of that. So they've just spent close to 100 billion. So they haven't really got much money. And if Sony Pictures was not sell, literally the whole company. Their biggest attribute is Spider-Man right. They're not going to sell it for 10 billion. Marvel would not pay 10 billion. Now, I really hope this is the last video. And yes, of course, this website is saying we were right about She-Hulk, Miss Marvel. My source is right about the exact same thing, but they've not heard anything. I, like, guys, I'm just going to be legit with you guys. I've not heard anything about the new Spider-Man deal from my source, who is more correct than any other website I use. So I'm reporting this because it seems to be trendy. You know, it's picking up steam. I, I mean, I've been watching this story for the last week, looking for all Spider-Man news. And let's be honest, guys, Marvel and Sony work together quite a lot. As you know, Sony is making the live action TV shows, so they've got a deal there. Sony played PS4 game. I'm sure they're working on Spider-Man PS5. So there is a working relationship between the two company. Disney already owns the merchandise right for Spider-Man. So let's read the story because we haven't read it. So essentially what it's saying is Sony has in mind a 10 billion. Sorry, guys, that's freaking pathetic. 10 billion for Spider-Man. They're not going to sell so cheap. But on the other hand, guys, Marvel, Disney would not pay 10 billion. I mean, I think that's pretty cheap if they could get that as a steal. So yeah, you're probably going to see the story absolutely everywhere by the time I upload it because I'm really over the Spider-Man hype train. But there seems to be no hype in the Marvel Cinematic Universe now. Captain Marvel hasn't even got a hype. So the only thing that's got a hype, guys, is Spider-Man. Now, there isn't really a lot to break down except for all these stories could be true. They could be fabricated. You know, they, it could be literally anything, guys. You know, there's there's talks going on behind closed doors. And they literally have till next summer, which is probably when they're going to start shooting to come to terms and conditions with a new contract, if that's the way they're going to go down. Sony already has this story for Spider-Man 3. MCU has a story for Spider-Man 3. So it doesn't really matter which way it goes down. They're still ready to go as soon as they want. There's not some rush. It's not like they've got to close this really fast. Now, rumoredly, there are some talks going on over the next couple of weeks where I'm sure apparently they offered 30% with Venom, etc. But that doesn't really make any sense, guys, to me. Why would they give away Venom when Venom made over $700 million, which is close to what Homecoming made without Tom Holland spoiler warning? You know, so I find this interesting. Now, I said I wouldn't talk about Spider-Man until there was actual news. But I've been blown up about this new Spider-Man story. Disney buys Spidey. No, Disney, man, Disney the, the house of the mouse will not buy Spider-Man because Spider-Man isn't for sale. And it's like Apple's buying Sony. Wash you is buying Sony, you know. Apple's buying Sony. No, because Sony isn't going to be for sale, guys. Like I've said before, if anyone buys Sony, they lose Spider-Man. Then all you are buying is literally the properties they own, plus a few properties like Men in Black, which are realistic, guys. Flop. So, guys, come on. Stop taking the... I don't know how to express this, guys. You know? 
You know, we keep it 100 on this channel. Like, this story is bogus. 10 billion is too cheap. But War Stu, they just bought the whole of Fox for 70 billion. Yeah, that's my point. Fox, right? We are getting 900 characters for 10 billion. Really? I mean, Far From Home turned over 1.1 billion. Didn't make, okay? Let's get this, get this straight, guys. It didn't make that. It turned over before the marketing budget, before the actors, before the cinema cut. I mean, I'd be surprised if it made four or five hundred million dollars after cost. Because a lot of these sites and people go, yeah, it made one billion. Homecoming made one billion. Endgame made 2.2 billion. No, it turned over, guys. I know, and I know not all of you kind of have business minds and you understand how business and profit and loss and all that work, right? There's overheads. It's it's not like you release a movie, you didn't put any money into the movie. It's like if you buy something to make money, you have to put money in first before you can make anything, you know? So all these costs come out before the movie's released or the other way around. I'm not really sure which way actors get paid, but it is interesting that a lot of people, I mean, like I said, guys, on Google Trends, Spider-Man is the most popping thing at the moment. I don't really know why, because there's no plot details. I mean, I'm seeing allegations that Craven the Hunter is confirmed for Spider-Man 3. When we don't even know which public, which, sorry, we don't even know if Sony's making the movie or is it MCU or is it in collaboration. So guys, chill, because let's be honest, guys, no content creator, no person writing an article online knows unless you are Robert Iger, aka Bob Iger, or Tony, the head of Sony. These are the two people that know everything. Kevin Feige doesn't even know shit at the moment. Let's be honest, guys. This is above Feige's head. Now, I know they're saying it's because of the Fantastic Four. It's because of the X-Men. It's because Deadpool. No, guys. No. Because Kevin Feige may overlook everything, but he doesn't write the script. He doesn't... He's not doing every single MCU movie in history. Yes, he's overlooked them, but he doesn't write them. He's not directing them. He might be executive producer on literally everything. But let's be honest, guys. Kevin Feige does not make every single story for every single plot point. I mean, I recently just watched Far From Home last night. It's the greatest Marvel movie ever. Change my mind in the comment section down below if you don't agree with me. Now, this might come across as a bit of rant, guys. I'm freestyling because I do not need to write a script. I'm not one of these people that needs to write a script. Because let's be honest, guys. There's no news. The news is there's an allegation. There's an allegation out there that Sony would sell Spider-Man for $10 billion. So let's get this right. If Sony's going to sell... Spider-Man for 10 billion. How much would the whole of Sony Pictures be up for? Because after that, like what, 20, 30 billion? Maybe? At a push? Because it's outside the Spider-Man franchise, they don't really make any money, guys. And uh, in the first quarter of this year, Sony Pictures lost 68 million. You know, so you've got to look at stats, guys. It doesn't matter how much they make. You've got to look at the first quarter, the third quarter, and all this kind of stuff. But it is interesting, guys. I'm legit with you. I really do not believe this. Sony is selling for 10 measly billion. But wash you, 10 billion is a lot of money. Yes, 10 billion is a lot of money. You, you couldn't even fit that in a room. Yeah, it's a lot of money, guys. I'm not negotiating that with you because I'm not a negotiator. But I'm here to break it down, guys, that all these Spider-Man stories are not true. I mean, they might be true, but like I said, unless your name is Bob Iger or the head of Sony, no one knows anything. This is way above their pay grade. Now, hopefully, this is the last time I have to talk about it. But was you, Apple's buying... So no, Apple would not buy Sony because they wouldn't gain anything. Amazon's not buying Sony. That's crushed. All these allegations have been out there for years. For years, Marvel has been buying back the rights to Spider-Man. Do you really think, guys? Do you really think? I mean, I've now said really twice now, guys. Do you really think they would sell for 10 measly billion? Really? Do you realize how much Spider-Man's worth? I mean, Marvel alone will make over 1 billion annually. Okay, we're not talking about per, per movie release. We're talking about annually, every year. Spider-Man is the number one toy selling merchandise for Marvel. One billion, right? And if Marvel are not connected to the movie that comes out, guess what, guys? They can't sell merchandise for a movie they're not connected with because it wouldn't make any freaking sense. Guys, think. You need to start thinking. Stop seeing a headline and clicking. I mean, it's all right if there's a headline, but it backs it up with actual a factual argument. So, guys, I've destroyed it. I've debunked this theory. It is a theory. I've heard literally nothing from my source. The same source that told me everything about Endgame that was mostly true. I mean, I got told when the release date for the trailers were going to be changed and stuff like that. 
But from my sources, guys, no one knows anything about Spider-Man. So please stop blowing me up, actually. Yeah, you, you can blow up my DMs. It, it's interesting. But the point is, guys, it's not needed, okay? There is, I mean, I guarantee by the time I post this video, there'll be another story going, now they're asking for 20 billion, but, but Marvel only wants to pay 5 billion. Guys, Spider-Man is never going to be for sale, ever. I don't even know why they sold the merchandise rights back in 2011, because that literally makes no sense. Sony really missed a trick there. They really missed a trick by selling it. But like always, guys, I'll keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest news. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm not coming at you guys. It's just getting ridiculous now. There is literally 20 to 30 different stories about what's going on with Spider-Man since it's been revealed. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.